What's up guys and welcome back today. Today we're doing another video on the Emo Rubble channel. Today, today, we are doing the Ep Redstone, a second, uh, another Redstone video today. It's the second one out of the new series, but it's kind of like my fifth one overall on the channel. So, yeah, what we're going to do today is we're gonna I'm going to show you how to build something I've never built before. This is my own design. I've built, I spent the last three hours designing this build, uh, build and I'm going to walk you through why how it is why i design it this way and what each step does okay now this is a three combination lock a three color combination lock but say you want you're looking for a combination lock that has like 10 colors on it well you're in luck because guess what this combination lock is tileable so all you have to do is do the same thing for as long as you want you can have up to like thousands of colors of combination locks if you wanted to but I only did three for this demonstration, and I know the code, and I'm going to show you right now. So, if you go over here and click this button, the door obviously doesn't open, because right there, obviously I know it's an iron door, you can put a button right here or break through it. This is just demonstration purposes, yeah, you could have like a vault door, like a pit vault door, piston door right here, something like that, whatever. But for right now, I'm using an iron door, just because I was lazy and I didn't want to have to build a second resident contraption on top of this one. All right, cool. So what the code is is gr it's orange, green, and I think light blue. So um, let's go until we see orange. I believe this one's orange. There we go. And now let's go to green. All right, there we go. So we got two out of three combinations, and as you can see, the door still does not open. Looks it stuck for us, but here we go. Let's try the third one. Okay, one more I think should do it. Nope, okay. Um, and... Nope, next one. There it is. And see, the door, it automatically opens the door. Um, it automatically opens the door when you're finished, but if, say, you, if it's really quick, it's really quick. You could put a pulse extender on it. I put a pulse extender on it. It's a really short one, but you could put a better one on it if you desire to. So, yeah. Yeah, but you could put a longer one on it. I just put a little one on it so it stays up for a Battery bit. low. But if you miss the deadline, just hit this button right here. And this button's basically a safety lock just to get through. So yeah, that's basically that's basically how it works. It's really well. And this is the redstone behind it. Now, if you're looking at it, Emerald, why are there two piston speed tapes? You know, you could build one that uses one, right? I do realize this. But here's the problem. Okay, so you could do, if you want to do one, you have to have transparent blocks and one solid block. So you could do um, all types of stairs, all types of stairs would work. So you could do wood, um, all that, and then you could have one solid block. So you could have a redstone line going through it, and that would um, output the, the door. But I wanted to do it to where it would, they were all solid blocks, so you could get, so you could use terracotta or something like that, and then... Um, you, and then you're like, okay, that's fine. Just make one of these lines of cauldron and make this out here. Yes, you could do that, but the problem is, is if you time, if you go through this whole thing and you sit there for uh, about an hour, you could figure out how many, or it probably would take 20 minutes, really. You could figure out how many colors there are on each row and then just line up the cauldron to where you think all the cauldrons are connected and the door open if you do it that way because you'll be able to see the cauldron pop up right here so that's pretty dot it's pretty i wouldn't want to do that because the door could be cracked really easily this it's a little bit harder with two piston feet tapes because you can't actually see the um the cauldron so this one this is just a color one and this one this is what makes the door work so when so when the door is unlocked there, there's no cauldrons here right and these call and then so when these so when there is cauldrons here these uh observe these comparators are active which blocks this um uh repeater let me just hit one of the button real quick to me. so it blocks the hopper so the redstone current can't go through it but when it's unlocked it can go through it allowing this to shoot a line across and open the door so a really cool system like that so i'm going to show you how to build it for yourself and um so yeah let's get straight into it so what you're going to do is you're going to want to dig down i think one two three four five and I and let's see how long it is. One, two, 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So it's 5. You have to go 5 down, um, 19 across, and it's... I don't know how long it is. Up. So, yeah, let's let's try and do this up. So we got to go up 4, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the platform, I think, is right there. Right? Yeah. I'm trying to build it the exact same way as the last one um so yeah okay break that all right so there is that all done so now what you're going to do is you're going to want to build the the thing for you so you just got to build up like this until you get a thing where you show three like that so perfect all you have to do is that now let me go over here and steal a button and I'm gonna see I'm gonna tell you the reason why there's carpets on the outside is because of this rust on torch it has to be unlocked um, because you have to power it both ways yes you could have used like a piston or something um, but I didn't think of that when I was building it and I didn't want to fit, redo that redstone circuit. So if you want to right now, go ahead and put a piston there underneath and then activate it that way or find a different way to activate it. Um, but that's the best I did for right now. So that's why there's carpet on the around of it. Um, so I think what you do is you just put it right here and then carpet on the outside. All right, so there's that. So when you come underneath, you're going to want what I normally do is I break these so I can tell which one I'm doing. So this is where the buttons are. So the first one, I'm gonna have to steal some redstone dust. Yeah, I'm not very prepared, am I? And then I'm gonna need a redstone torch, repeater, and all that fun stuff. So when you, so right off the button right here, you're gonna need a redstone torch, and then you're going to need a redstone right there, and then coming around here, oh, right now, right there, right there, you're going to need a repeater like that and then redstone dust right there just like that and then you have like this and then repeaters like that i believe right i believe so and then you have repeater yeah okay sorry i don't know how to build this by memory so i'm gonna have to look over there every now and then <laughs> because i literally just finished building that like an hour ago so then you have a block here i believe with a redstone torch and then you have blocks like that Okay, and then you run the torch with repeaters. So then you come out one, two, one, two, um, like that, and go repeater, 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 with, I think, and then you gotta get some normal pistons, right? Okay, some normal pistons here. And if you're wondering, you're, if you've missed the circuit on the bottom, we're gonna come back to that um, later on when we build this circuit, so because it's part of that circuit. Um, and then you take observers right here, and go like this, like that. Oh wait, this is the wrong way, I think. Yeah, it's the wrong way. It's gonna have to go this way. Okay, perfect. And then you take, oh yeah, then you need some hoppers, grabbing them. And then you're gonna place hoppers facing into it, just like so. And then you're going to take some observers going up, just like so. And you're gonna take these, and then pistons on this side, pistons on top. And then a solid block right here because that's gonna be you're gonna have redstone dust placed on top of that later. You're gonna come out two from that block, and then you're going to uh, place blocks right here for redstone later. And then you're going to place pistons just like that. And then I believe you have pistons right here, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, pistons right there. Alright, so that's pretty much that. So now what you can do is you can go ahead and put the colors in if you want to. Um, so I'm going to do that later, though, um, when we put the colors in. So now what you're going to do is once you're finished, you're going to want to take... Um, you're going to come up here, actually, and I forgot to do this. So you're going to take observers right here, bam, bam, bam. And then I believe you need to take repeater, 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 and then for dust, dust, dust. And I don't think those are set to delays, no. Those are just to separate the redstone circuit. And now if you go to click a button, you can test it out actually and see if it moves around. This one should fire first, second, third, and oops, third and fourth, right? Okay, so that is that done. Now here's the fun bit. So you come down here and then you're going to want to place a um, 
torch right there, and then you're going to want to come down here, oop, place a uh, redstone dust there, redstone torch, and then you're going to come down here, uh, dust, torch, just like, just like that. Okay, then you're going to want to place a block like that with dust on it, and then run the dust all the way down to, I think, right here, and then you're going to also do the same with um, these, I believe, right? Yeah, okay. So you place block there, dust, like that, torch, and then you go well, two, three, like that. And you do the same thing on this side, so like that, dust, torch. And then we come over here and run this rest of the line all the way down. Do that all the way down. Yep, and then you take three repeaters, just like this, one, two, and three, and then you shoot them into uh, torches. So you make a torch ladder, I think, right here. Um, so we can go up, and then um, we go right here. Ooh, maybe. Dang. And go like that, and then we place a block on top of it. And then I believe this one does have a delay, so I'm gonna check the delay to double check. It's a two tick delay, so um, you place it once and click it once. Um, that's a two tick delay, really simple. And then I believe I did something, some magic here. Uh, yeah, okay, so you do, okay, yeah. And then you place one here and a block on top of that with a block here. And then you do that here, bang, bang, and block right there. I believe that's how I did it. All right, that is how I did it. So when you're done with that, then you're going to want to do the same thing over here, block right there, two tick delay, and then you're going to want to take a dust and a two tick delay. All right, and then you want to shoot them into pistons. Um, once again, I believe you shoot them into pistons. Yeah, okay, so what you do is you want to place piston, 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 just like so, just like that, and then you take blocks on these sides, just like that. All right, so that is that situation done. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the observers. Now the observers, you're gonna come out, that one we went out once, this one you're gonna have to come out twice because you need a little extra room for the other circuit. Then you're gonna take the hoppers again, um, and then you're going to take, um, what's it called? Then you go up two, I believe two, right? Or is it three? It's three, sorry. Sorry, you got three this time on this feed tape, and then you uh, do one right here with pistons coming out, just like that, and then you do pistons going up right here with blocks on their faces like that. Okay, so that is that done, and then you have some, um, you do this right here, and then you go out two more just like that. You have observers here, one, two, and then you have, um, you know, you have your little cool little circuit there, and then you come up with blocks, and then you shoot them back down. And then on the sides of these guys right here, you do that. And then you can fill them up with cauldrons. So let me go over here and steal a cauldron real quick. And so you're going to place, I recommend getting water right now and filling up the water. Actually, before you do this, before you do this, okay? I will, you come over here and grab out the three colors you want to be your code. So in this case, let's do gray, red, and yellow, okay? That'll be our code. So gray, red, and yellow. That's our code, and that's what we want to do. So that way, we know exactly what our code is when we're finished, okay? Okay, then you're going to take a thing like that. Oop, sorry, my bad. And then you're going to place... Oh, one too high. And you're gonna place blocks like that over there. And three like, no, I'm sorry. Um, right? Uh, the blocks go right there. I'm pretty sure. All right, yeah. Okay, as, just to do this really simple, go ahead and put the repeaters here. Um, so that way you don't have to, uh, so that way you don't have to do them later. And then the comparators there, okay, cool. Go ahead and place the stone, stone place st any block of your choice right there. That's going to be your code block. So it has to line up with these. So um, remember, that's your code. Okay, then every other block, you do, um, 
you put in the cauldrons. Um, so yeah, go ahead and fill them up with water as you go because it is a pain to fill these up if you don't have water. All right, and then you go up two, two. All right, so, and make sure you don't shift click when you place those because water will go everywhere. All right, so that is that done. And then you just have to fill this up with uh, blocks. So let's just go over here, do that, do that, that that and yellow yellow cyan green red gray orange and brown all right cool and then we just go over here like this like that Oop, nope not right here orange and brown just like that and then we go what's after red cyan orange, um, black, and then you go yellow, cyan, like that. And then right after gray, you go orange, black, yellow, blue, green, like, or like that. So that is how you do that. Perfect. And we are almost finished with this entire build. See, it's getting pretty good, right? Not even that difficult. So now what you want to do is you want to take these guys right here and you want to place blocks right here and place and make repeaters coming out of these these are going to take a redstone pulse out of these guys and then you're going to shoot them all into the same redstone line um let me get it it's like this shoot them all into the same redstone line and then you're going to shoot it up to the top so um you go like this one two three four uh like this one, two, like that, I think. Right? No, like that. All right, so then you just go one, two, three, like that. Let's go steal a torch because I'm too lazy to search it. Um, and then we go and place the torch here, redstone dust, I believe. And then we place the redstone. Hmm. <clears throat> right hang on i think i did it one too low yeah okay i went too low uh this has to go up one more uh just make this go up one more sorry about that very unprofessional right here right <laughs> very unprofessional okay then that goes right there perfect that's all you have to do that's pretty much the entire system done now we're gonna have to do the the fail safe button so go ahead and build your door so right here i'm just going to the arm door again right because i'm lazy and then you're going to want to take your button right and i normally use a stone button but you can do that uh, then you take a button right here and go like this and all you're doing is basically running a redstone line all the way to the end and then you're going to do a ladder here up like this like that bam so one two three four five six seven eight nine and make sure you put a repeater right there so it continues and that's this whole thing finished pretty much so if i take a button not a button a door um i have no idea how long this video is going to be but we're about to find out oh actually that's not the entire thing finished i'm so sorry um you're going to want to take a redstone torch here if you're doing the iron door technique um yeah okay and then you're going to want to shoot that right there into a block and then do it once again like that so it's closed and then you're going to want to do that and then all you have to do is run this redstone line all the way to this repeater right here and you just stare i'm just going to staircase it down you can do whatever you want you can do piston um piston thing whatever be creative how you want to power this but all you're doing is basically shooting this redstone line all the way to the end so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and that's perfect amount but we're going to take a, a comparator and we're going to put in a uh a pulse extender so we're gonna do a double one because the other one I did a single one it doesn't seem to be enough so let's do double this time all right so that should be that so if we have the correct combo in which we do it opens the door 
and we can go right through. All right, but if we mess up the combo, let's just mess up that one. Oh my gosh, what did I do? All right, guys, I found out why the redstone was breaking, and it's because of this little guy right here. This guy needs to be on a four tick delay, and um, I also the reason why the colors were messed up is because I forgot to put in the color. Um, right, I forgot to put in the color white. So if you put the colors in, don't do what I did. My mistake, sorry. But yeah, this is now the co code white, black, and yellow. Now if you go over here, hit the button, the door opens, obviously. And now if I go to change the code, just like that, bam. And I go to hit the button, door does not open. So now if we go all the way back to white, so let's go and fix that real quick. There you go, doors open, and you just hit that if you missed it, and it w and you just walk right through. And that, guys, is how you build Emeralds uh, com Combo Lock, Color Combination Lock. And if you want to, like I said, you can. Uh, it's tileable, so you can just push this all the way out. You just gotta remember that every time you do it, you've gotta extend this line all the way down. And the reason, and I, the reason why I s say it can be go as long as you want is because the reason why the main, one of the main reasons why I did it like this where I separated the lines like this is not because it's easier um, to travel that way so I, I saw so I didn't have to use repeaters but so if you do want to go all the way down there you just take this place a repeater and extends that line going that way so that way you just have to extend and it goes all the way up so whichever way you do it just it, it, it can go as long as you want um, I just did three for now but thank you guys so much for watching this video I know it was a long some tutorial um, longer than that guy right there the loot box system let me know if you guys did enjoy that and uh, yeah thank you guys so much for watching this uh, video and I uh, hope you guys um, hope you guys enjoyed it please leave a like if you uh, please leave a like on this video <laughs> subscribe and um, yeah with that being said I uh, hope you guys I'll see you guys in the next video goodbye Thank <laughs> you.